paints. Don't make me do this. I don't want to do this. I just want to paint. I just want to get it done. You guys want to watch paint dry with me? Uh, I gotta change the title up. Hold on. Discovery, go and throttle up. Discovery, go and throttle up. Uh, just get it done, and we can watch it dry. All right, fine. It's going to it's going to be a second, dudes. It's going to be a second because it's I have to go no my crusty clothes cuz I have not I have nice clothes, nice fur clothes on, I guess. But like I won't be able to see chat or anything, dudes, like Isn't pad building the same as paint drying? Way to insult my craft, jackass. I mean, you guys are literally gonna sit here and watch the wall for a second. I have to go. I have to go get the paint and everything, and put the painting clothes. And you know what? I'll just shut up. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Discovery, go and throttle up.
Discovery, go and throttle up. So, the thing is, fellas, I'm not painting, I'm priming. I just want primer. This is fine. No one's going to see this. Well, no one was going to see this, Remo. Sherwin Williams paint. No, I'm using I'm using kills. Kills. It's just drywall primer, dude. That's all it is. Alright. Um, uh, okay. Let's see. First of all, let's see how much is in this can. This is the can we were using today. Ugh. Discovery, go and throttle up. Autofocus is dropping the ball here. Yeah. All right. Hang on, let me just get this open. So, this is what your boy has been up to. There ain't much left. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough, but I might have to crack, I might have to crack the second bucket. Which sucks because, yeah, this is, yeah, it might be. I use the brush, I use the brush. Uh, sorry about the mic. Actually, you know what? I can, I can set up the microphone to not be pointing towards the air conditioner. Give me one moment.
You should order a giant vinyl mural of a Saturn V and put it on the wall. Yep. You're going to have some sound dampening stuff in here? Yeah. It's called a rug in a ceiling. Yeah, X. Yeah, we will. Yep. I know. The acoustics are about as good as my driving right now. Am I right? Am I right? Cell phone. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, oh. Rare cell phone. Um, okay. All right, let's get to it. So there's definitely now the bottom. We're gonna need more. So, <laughs> fair enough. Painting, I see. Yep. All right, dudes, I'm getting to it. I'm gonna get at that bottom stuff with the brush here. So I'm just basically gonna grab in here, grab a little bit. We're just gonna go down here. We're just gonna play. I'm just gonna use this to get the bottom. Sometimes getting the roller down here is a pain in the butt, so I'm just going to grab a little more. Just, just play. Yeah, me, man. I'm doing the drywall up there and the new streaming setup. i tell you what I do, man. Watch paint dry on a Twitch stream, man. Damn straight, always wanted to do that. I figure I could hook that up. I'm trying to not do a Bob Ross here. Oh, this autofocus again. It's freaking killing me. Actually, you ain't wrong. You really don't want to do like Bob Ross style brush strokes unless you're going for that. Rimo was actually painting this when uh, we were watching the presser. And then to make sure we have nice uniform texture, I'm going to get my roller. We're just going to roll over those brush strokes. Make 
sure we get up at the top there. touch the paint. Now I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna get up here, get this top seam. You know, if you squint hard enough at this, it looks like glue, but remember, Paint is bad for you. Blue, though. That was a joke. Please don't. Uh, Alright. So we got the pencil lines cut up there. Just going to grab the residual here and hopefully we have enough. Ah, fail. I got some up on that. The metal up there. You guys enjoying this this painting painting stream? It's what I've been doing the past couple of days. Discovery, go and throttle up. Go ahead, throttle up. There's a sub in there. Who was that? Bone sister. What's up, buddy? You're watching me paint my new office. I'm going over the brush because I don't like the brush strokes. I'm just going over it with the roller. There's not enough paint in this bucket to pour into the roller tray. So I'm using the brush to essentially just get the paint up on the drywall. And go from there. I gotta clean this. Once again, this is basically what I was what I was gonna be doing after the stream after I shut the stream off. Just gotta get a little bit of a little bit of titanium flat. Titanium flat, a little bit of phthalo blue. I'm just painting up top here where the roller can't get. Well, the real story is that the roller can't get there with Remo because she's not tall enough. So there's just little seams that I need to get with the paint. Once again, I'm just hitting this with latex primer. I really don't care what color the room I'm in is. It really doesn't bother me. Stop staring at my butt, weirdos. It's not coming up on camera, but there's pencil marks from where we marked the, the studs for the drywall. I'm uh, just making sure those pencil marks are not there. Also, sanding drywall sucks. I mean, now it, you know, it doesn't suck. It's just tedious. That's what's taking so long. I didn't want this to look like. Discovery, no one drop bad, but Hey Ben, great job with the painting. Keep up the good work. Can't wait till Monday. Yeah, it should be fun, dude. It should be fun. Looks like we're gonna use the last drip of this paint. Oh, there's still some in the painter tray, or in the roller tray. 
see if we can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stuff up there. There we go. I'll get rid of this line right here. So this is basically just the second coat for this wall. That's all I'm doing here. I'm going over it with the roller to make sure that the texture is uniform because I don't want brush strokes and roller strokes like next to each other. Some people want different strokes for different folks. Not this guy. That was a joke. Don't read too much into it, please. Please. Ooh, love of God, please. No Jewish tonight, please. I beg you. Sorry, gay. come out too bad, to be honest. It looks like crap when it goes on. It looks splotchy as heck, but it ain't, it ain't too bad, chat. It ain't too bad at all. Just doing the corner here. The roller doesn't really like fitting in there. So just gotta get in there with the brush. In case anybody's wondering, I've literally been doing this all day. Yeah. Fun. judgment through the damn camera. Chat wanted this. They said, hey, we'll watch you paint. It'll be fun, they said. All right. Yes. How does that look on camera? Let me take a look. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Definitely missed the spot over there. But I'm running out of paint. I might have to crack open the other jar. Gotta try to avoid doing that. Smooth <coughs> one. Yeah, down there. Rima, you missed the spot. How dare you? setup is going. It's my new office. I was doing something else on stream and John's like, oh, stream painting your office at 1030 at night. All right. Okay. That's what you want. That's what you want, fool. Okay. You know what? 
the baseboard is going to go over that, guys, so I don't really care. Yep. Kind of over it. What about you? It's 439. You're in the wrong time zone. You missed the spot. Yeah, I know. It's right there. You see it? It's right, yeah, I know. I missed the spot like right, right in this area. Right there. See that? Freak you. <laughs> It doesn't look too bad. I didn't vacuum down there. So there's a lot of dust, so I don't want to put the roller down there so it picks up all the joint compound dust. And it looks like this discoloration, I don't know if you guys can see that, it looks like the joint compound wasn't fully dry. What's a payment? Don't get me wrong, that's not a knock towards Primo. Uh, yeah, let's see, boy. But here's the thing, I don't need to prime this too hard because uh, there's going to be a door jam basically right here, so. All right, I, guys, I, it's kind of dry and it looks super streaky right now, but that's pretty much it. Like, there wasn't much left to do. Green actually got a lot out of the way. Above the door? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll see. There might have some residual paint here. Let's see what we got in the bucket. Let's see what we got in the bucket. Uh, she's got a mustache. This is my house. This is my house. If you don't like it, you can get the frick out. And you best out. Don't start crying, Eddie. Don't start crying. You're gonna be a dog walking, homeless mother trucker. Yo! Oh, 95's here. Ew. It's kinda gross. I'm still not answering your question, boy. Your question is weird. That boy ain't right, I tell you what. That boy ain't right. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. Alright. That's pretty much it, dude. I gotta clean the brushes. Ugh. I gotta go fill up the bucket, Mr. Bucket. Gotta fill up the bucket and then we will clean these.
All the outlets that aren't hooked up yet, Dave, are on the same circuit as that breaker. And then I have, we, uh, there's a conduit that goes through the wall over here, and that goes to the AC. So the AC and all the outlets, all the accessory outlets are on a separate circuit. But if we look, what I want to do, what I want to do is take the fan switch out, right? And I want to put a red switch right here. I want to take a light switch to get like a red light switch or something. And what I want to do is this conduit goes back through here. It goes up. Here, hang on, the microphone's in the way. So, see the conduit up there? It goes up and it goes through in that junction box, right? There. And I want to put like a live, like a, a red studio light, like a graded light, flip it on when the stream is live. I think that would be kind of cool. I'll put you guys back there. There we go. So that outlet is live right now, and obviously the one that's coming in from the conduit over here. There's a conduit that comes through. Conduit that comes through right here, and it goes back, and it's separate from the other outlets right here. These outlets go over there, but the one outlet in the back where the air conditioner is is going through here. Any conduit that's near them, or any wires that go through. The metal part of the building has to be inside a metal conduit, like that pipe that I showed you guys up there. But if you're framing on wood, you don't need to. It just needs an insulated staple, and that's what it's on. Yeah, like a radio station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a live light. Yep, yep, that's it. So, yeah. Should be pretty cool. Here, let me, uh, I gotta clean the brushes up, dude. But then they get crusty if you don't clean them. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I don't want to put the camera over this bucket and uh, drop the camera into it. That would suck. Basically, you just got to wash them out with water. Keep in mind, I ain't no paint expert, but that's pretty freaking clean. Now the fun part. I don't know about you guys, I hate cleaning roller brushes. This thing sucks. It's freaking terrible. Uh, the first thing you should technically do is bring it out to get all the paint in, but I don't have the tool to do that, so let's just squeeze in here. Get in here like this. Ugh. There's so much water. So, you know, I know what people are going to say, well, let's just wash it out in a sink. I can't. Septic tank. Latex paint and septic tanks don't go together. So I gotta wash this out with water, and then I gotta dispose of the water uh, in a not bad way because yeah, I'm pretty sure ground the ground doesn't need latex paint in it either. So usually take it outside and hose it off. That's nice. I was going to tell you an easier way to get that off, however you already pulled it. It is what it is, bro. You just basically got to rinse it. A lot. Dump it in the yard and hose it? Yeah. I got to... I think... Um, 
What was the reason why I can't just dump it in the yard? There was, oh yeah, the leach field. The leach field is near the garage for the septic tank. Can't dump it. At least here. I'm gonna go, go to the dump it, dump it. Which is fine, whatever. Well, I don't wanna piss off people that, or piss off the town I just moved to, you know what I mean? But yeah, either that or I'll find a place that's not near the leach field, you know? Asylum. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, the white reflects light. It'll be easier to light it with a chroma. So the green screen is going to be like back here. And my setup is basically going to be right here. My desk is going to be right here. But we also have enough room to put a car, a sim a car simulator rig right here. And then like a flight sim rig over there. So, But the white walls are going to give me really good lighting. And don't get me wrong, if the acoustics suck in here right now, it's because I don't have any, like, I don't have carpet in and we don't have a ceiling in yet. I'm going to try to get that done over the next couple of days, which is why I'm, I was supposed to, I'm supposed to go live tomorrow at noontime for a regular stream, but I, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to make it. Uh, The sanding and the drywalling, yeah, I drastically misjudged that, how long that was going to take. Um, I don't know, I've never done it before. What do you want? Okay, this is clean. It's clean enough. So, still need a ceiling though, right? Yeah, 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 the drop ceiling, I have it, it's next to the truck out there um, and the panels the panels are actually the seller the original seller left a bunch of panels so how many bedrooms you got three three my dude Okay, Ryan. I'm not painting it. I'm leaving it prime. I'm out of time, dude. I'm out of time. The way I see it, look, here's what's going to happen. I could time it to be ready by Artemis 1. I could do that. It wouldn't end well because I would have problems. That means I need to do a shakedown stream to make sure this all works. I got to do a shakedown. I have to. Which means stream Saturday. Well, I can't stream Saturday because I have a family thing to go to. So uh, it's an Italian thing. If you know, you know. Uh, yeah, family. You got, I got some family business to attend. It's literally a wedding shower. Right? If you really want to know, you got some family business to attend to. You understand? You capisce? Anyway, um, so it's not going to be Saturday. Can't do it on Saturday. I can do it on Sunday. Sure. But on Sunday, that's when my electrician is available, and that's when he's going to drop the lights and hook up all the outlets. But in the meantime, I have an outlet that's good here, and then I have HVAC for the air conditioner over there. So, no way I just did that. Uh, I dripped on the damn wall. Oh, well. Oops. Um, so, the way I see it is like this. 
Tomorrow, I'm vacuuming this whole freaking place up. I'm going to vacuum the whole damn thing. I'm going to mop the floor. I'm going to clean it and let it dry. Then I'm going to start putting the carpet down. I'll start putting the carpet down and it's peel and stick vinyl carpeting, but it has an insulator in it, so it'll keep it warm from the concrete floor. And uh, it'll keep us warm from the concrete floor, and it will um, help with sound, too. And then, if I can get that done relatively fast tomorrow, right, then we could try for the drop ceiling. I could try putting in the drop ceiling, putting in part of it that's over the streaming setup, and then test it so we get better acoustics so it doesn't sound like I'm in an empty padded room. Uh, so that's the plan. I'm thinking Thursday or Friday for the whole thing to be done. I have to. I, I gotta I gotta run some test streams. We gotta make sure. Gotta make sure it works. You gotta sleep with the fishes, yep. What? You said you're going to stream the carpet going in? Oh, dude. How the hell am I going to do that? Guys, just let me get it done. Trust me. Just let me get it done for the love of God. So? That's the plan. Yeah, big body, this is my new office. Discovery, go and throttle up. 59 months from big body. Or you could set up a temperature in the RS house. Tessa, that's my fallback. If I can't get this done in time or something goes wrong, I will set it up in the basement. We got plenty of room. This, is a big, this house has a huge freaking basement. Uh, your boy bought like a 65 inch TV for the basement. What? It's an open box at Best Buy. I, I speak the language. I got it for a good price. Did you get total tech? Are you deaf? We're live? Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah, the microphone fell off the chair. So, you know, that's good. I'm sure that was good for it. I'm really happy that it came unplugged before it hit the ground, or else that would have been good. I thought you dropped it in the bucket. That would have been amazing, dude. That would have been amazing. I don't have good luck with gravity, you know. That's why I like space so much. I could hear the, my thoughts that it was horrible. The old microphone fell off the chair trick. Yep. Yep. That actually, is, actually doesn't look too bad. Don't look too bad. Watching paint dry. Yep, yep. The sound cut out as it fell, yeah, because it came unplugged. <laughs> All right, here, let me uh, set this back to how we had this before, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you guys around so you guys can see the nice white wall. Then we're gonna go in here like this, put the microphone down there like that. Hang on. Okay. All right. So we're back in 
steering mode here. Okay. The brushes are clean, my mirror is done, and I have to get up early in the morning. Four. Shut it up. That's the only door in here. I, I, I put the door up so the AC keeps the humidity low in here so it'll drive faster. Drive faster! Anyway, I'm going to take you guys off short power here and we're getting the frick out of here! Find the breaker. It's a laptop, dude. It's a 59 F100, if anybody's wondering. If not, it's just red. Red is cool. You could use the other door, except you turn it into a real fake door. Well, it won't open. Yeah, Merkers, that's my baby. It's my baby. Hey, you want to see? Want to see? Oh, yes. You guys actually haven't seen that. Down there. It's very nice. Hang on. I got, I got to get my phone light out. You can't really see them. Does it run? Yes. It's too loud though. I'm not starting it right now. They're equal length. It's actually a shorty. It's called a block hugger header. Tessa, uh, they are equal length, but they're very short. So, Ooh, all the ATF on the ground. Some, yeah, something's wrong with that transmission. The puddle hasn't gotten much bigger though. The puddle hasn't gotten much bigger. So. Um, weather guy, honestly, I think the the ATF on the ground, Merkers, there's like a basketball sized puddle. I, I honestly think the seal, the pan seal on the transmission is done. It's done. It's been sitting there doing nothing for 10 years. It's probably done. You usually need to replace gaskets if it's been sitting for a while. Because it's all on the ground. Well, that's how you know it still has transmission fluid in it, man. That's how that's how you know with old cars, okay? If it's leaking and you see it, you see oil leaking out of it, that means it still has oil in it. If you have an old car and there ain't no puddle under there, well then you got a problem because you got no oil.
Yeah, or it gets the same with the biplane. Yeah, exactly. If it's leaking, that means you don't have any oil. I mean, if it's dry, then you got a problem. So yeah, there's a there's a chair, there's my breaker, and there's the Wi-Fi extender. Yeah, Mercs, we're going to go over Freb here. We're going to go over the whole thing when I get this all ready to go. And then we're going to we're going back into the cozy couch corner here. Chad, you tripped. Are you okay? Uh, geez. Tell you, Chad, are you drunk? Yeah, you really should. You really should watch your drinking problem. And we are back on shore power. Right now. Now you're high on paint fumes. Nice. Back to the casting couch. It's my comfy couch, okay? It's not a casting couch, damn it. Also, there was a torque wrench on sale, so I bought it. It's a 3 8 torque wrench. I don't know if cobalt was any good, but it wasn't it was not expensive for a torque wrench, so I bought it. Don't forget to close the door. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, well, I gotta get going now. I gotta get on the bus. I ride the bus for the city and watch the bus drivers. Kind of this program they have to make sure they turn the wheels right. Lowe's and Home Depot brands are quite decent for hand tools in your experience. Eh, cobalt, it's cobalt, I mean, it's cobalt. You can't go wrong with cobalt. I don't think. Don't think. Cobalt is upper low grade. All right, I'll take that. Well, if they want to go left, yeah. Time for me to sleep to get my own house project. See you later. Nice projects on your build. Thanks, Dave. All right, man. Unless it's a Chevy Cobalt. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for painting with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, <laughs> Mercs, there's actually... <laughs> You know, the bus thing was this Dilly Madison joke, but it's funny because Boston has a lot of buses right now <laughs> because the subway broke. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's another story. We can talk about that some other time. Uh, we'll talk about that right when that city's expansion comes out and then we'll play. <laughs> and then I can talk about how screwed up my stupid city is when it comes to mass transit. Can you raid Racing Pro? Nah, he's a dick. I don't like him. See, I was speaking Racing Pro dialect to Racing Pro. That means he's a very cool dude and I'm going to rate him. That, that's, that's how you speak Racing Pro, though. Enjoyed it thoroughly. All right. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take another day and I'm going to try to bust out as much of that as I can. If I can get that drop ceiling and carpet in, setup will get done sooner rather than later. We made it over the hump. That was the hard part. Six days to Artemis. Yep, yep. All right. I'll talk to you guys. I'll throw a host over at Racing Pro, and I will see you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot for Thursday, but who knows? Is it Monday night? What day is it? I don't even know what day it is. This past two weeks have been a blur. I'm, okay, yeah, I'll probably end up shooting for Thursday. But if I really put foot to tail and I can get that carpet down really, really nice, can clean up in there, get it all done, and the paint doesn't look like complete butthole, uh, then, yeah, it might be sooner. Going to be some cool projects in that garage. Yep. Let's just say I've been already browsing Marketplace for ideas. Best of luck with carpet and ceiling. Thanks. All right, guys. I'll see you. Have a good night. Thank you.